In this video, we'll take a look at how to edit videos in Final Cut Pro off an external hard drive. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Now, this is my laptop I edit all my videos on. It's a 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro and it's a base model. It's by no means the most efficient laptop for editing video, but when I bought it, that's all I could afford. The biggest issue I've came across with this is hard drive space. As you can see, I have a 256 gigabyte solid state drive and almost half the free space on here is used up by various apps and other documents. If I add a Final Cut Pro library to it, the free space I do have left can be used up pretty quickly. This is why I edit all my videos off an external drive. For the longest time, I've been using a Samsung T5 solid state drive, but a couple months ago, Sabernet reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try their new Rocket Nano drive. I've been using this thing for a couple months now and it's been awesome. As you can see, this thing is tiny, even smaller than the Samsung T5 solid state drive, so extremely portable. Now, using this on an older machine, I don't quite see the full benefits of the speed of it, but if you have a newer computer with USB 3 ports, you can see transfer speeds of up to 1000 megabytes per second. Even on an older machine, using this drive with Final Cut Pro is just as fast, if not faster, than using the internal drive. Plus, having more free space on your computer should make it run faster overall especially if you have a mechanical drive. So with that being said, we'll first take a look at how to make a new library on this external drive. And after that, we'll take a look at how to move your existing library from your internal drive to your external drive. Let's plug in our external drive, open up Final Cut Pro and get started. To make a new Final Cut Pro library, from the menu bar select File, New and Library. Give your library a name and from the drop down menu, select your external drive. Click Save. Now, with your new library selected, select File again and Library Properties. Over in the Inspector, click the Modify Settings button. This is where we set the storage location for all our media files. For the media and cache files, select In Library. This will store all your imported media right inside your library on your external drive. If you use a lot of Apple Motion content, also change this to in library to keep all your content in one place. The only thing you want to keep off your external drive is your backups. This way, if something happens to your drive, you still have it backed up in a different place. Click OK. Now, any media imported into your library and any projects you make in this library will be stored on your external drive and not take up valuable space on your built-in drive. Next, let's take a look at how to move your existing library to your external drive. Over in my browser, I have another Final Cut Pro library, and if we select it, over in the inspector, you can see it's stored on my internal drive. To move this library, we first need to locate it in Finder. Right-click on your library in the browser window, and select Reveal in Finder. Next, quit Final Cut Pro. This step is very important. Do not move any Final Cut Pro files with Final Cut Pro open. Open another Finder window and select your external drive. Hold down the Command key and drag and drop your library to this drive. Finder will copy your library to your external drive and delete the original once completed. Once the move is complete, double click the library to open it in Final Cut Pro. With your library now on your external drive, we need to manage where the media is stored. With your library selected in the browser, over in the inspector, click the Modify Settings button. Change the location of media, motion content, and cache files to in library. Click OK. The last step is to consolidate all your media so it's stored inside this library. To do this, you can either select File and Consolidate Library Media, or just click the Consolidate button in the inspector beside Media and, if necessary, Motion Content. Choose whether you want to include your proxy or optimized media and click OK. All your media, motion content and your projects will be copied to your library located on your external drive. Using an external drive with Final Cut Pro can free up a lot of space on your computer and make it run much more efficiently. And if you use a solid state drive, Final Cut Pro will run just as fast, if not faster. The two drives I use and can strongly recommend are the Samsung T5 solid state drive and Sabernet's Rocket Nano. Both these are great hard drives and are very reasonably priced. I'll have them both linked in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week.
Thank you.